What's up guys, Graham here. Today we're going to do a little bit of a vlog style type of video. I'm going to try to do it in one take and not stutter too much. I'm a bad stutterer. I usually edit it all out, but yeah, this may be a little bit of a rambling video, just not too long. I'm going to go over lots of different things that I'm wanting to talk about though, uh, such as the future of the channel, what all I have planned and all that. Some of my thoughts on uh, try on maybe, uh, the things that they're doing, the things that are coming up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I might voice on some of that. Um, there's several different topics that I may talk about. We'll see. All right, to start off with, um, plans for the channel. All right, so the as you can tell in one of my recent videos, the Warlord uh, PvP build, I went ahead and got back into giveaways. Uh, we'll see how the giveaways go. The whole creator market is kind of uh, in its infancy right now, and it makes it to where you really don't have much stuff to give away. So we'll see how that kind of pans out. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a flawed system to say the least, but hopefully it'll get better right now. It's, uh, you know, they're definitely trying. They're trying to make it to where everybody has something to give away and stuff, but the amount of codes that you get is very minimal, but yet they can't really give out a ton of them because people will just flood the market with them. Uh, what we're seeing already is, you know, YouTubers and live streamers just basically, uh, you know, uh, handing out codes by the bucketfuls because it, if if I'm playing Rift, everybody got codes for all their other games too. So Davillion, uh, Arcage, all that stuff. So what they're doing is they're basically just giving away all these codes that they have no use for. And then Arcage live streamers and YouTubers are giving away all their Rift codes. And it's just flooding the market with all these codes. And uh, so the system is kind of uh, flawed right now. Hopefully it'll get better though. They're definitely trying. It's a good effort. I'm glad they came through with the creator uh, program but it definitely needs work so we'll see how that ends up going but um the the giveaway started back up on my channel i'm wanting to do more attention towards my uh patreon page if you guys uh, know that some people donate to me on patreon uh and that's really really cool they go to the link below and end up uh donating to the page but then i try to give them perks for supporting the channel uh one of the things that i did is i asked them you know what kind of game would you like me to play besides rift uh just to do like a one-off video or whatever in order to uh do some other kind of content besides just rift because now especially since the expansion is coming out i'm going to be putting out a lot of rift content most likely so uh the number one thing that they said was never winner so i'm going to try to do that and at the in the same video i'm going to go ahead and give away the razor mouse that i uh announced that i was going to be giving away I, i've been planning on doing that for a long time but i always get sidetracked i always get demotivated to make videos of rift or something like that because of nightmare tide i mean nightmare tide just really uh flunked me out in the game pretty bad because uh, you know, the moment that Nightmare Tide first arrived, I was so hardcore in Storm Legion, and, um, I, I was smashing people in PvP, because naturally, whenever you're that excited about the game, you're going to try to excel in certain areas that you're having a lot of fun with, and for me, that was PvP. I was, you know, extremely geared out, and whenever I'm geared out, my gameplay will allow me to excel at it. And I was doing really well. I was having war fronts where I was killing 30 something people and dying none or one or something like that. You know, it was always really, really cool. And that was without pocket healers. Uh, I hardly ever grouped with people. And then whenever I did group with them, I specifically said, do not pocket heal me. So, you know, the gameplay and stuff can really stand out if you have the right gear. Um, but with well, my phone's going off. Sorry about that, guys. People leaving comments on my videos. But, um, yeah, I, I w really wasn't too excited about Nightmare Tide once it arrived, though. Because there were so many things that went bad with it. There was the gear unification. Matter of fact, the last try on live stream that they did uh, involving PvP, like where they did a PvP live stream, it was to announce that they were taking out PvP gear. So that was... You know, as Kronos on the forum said, you know, uh, you can sit there and uh, wish that they would do a PvP live stream and then your dream actually becomes a nightmare. 
So, yeah, that's kind of what we ended up dealing with there. And then all the other stuff that came out, like they always say that PvP, you can fail your way to the top. Well, it kind of tells the story whenever Nightmare Tide came out, and it was PvEers that geared out faster than anybody. So, yeah. It really sucked. I mean, just lots of things were really bad for Nightmare Tide. And, uh, of course, PvEers weren't too happy as well with a lot of things. Um, and then, you know, another bad thing that happened during Nightmare Tide is Rift is really trying to find its identity right now. You know, identity. Um, basically what it is is it started out as a subscription game. And um, that wasn't really working. That was uh, something that they were going, okay, uh, we thought it was a good deal, and now it's not. The free-to-play games seem to be where it's at. These guys are coming out with their free-to-play games. Everybody can just join in as they want, try the game out. If they like it, they're going to spend money on it, all this good stuff. It seems like a great, great game plan, I imagine. So uh, then they go free-to-play. Well, the thing is, is that the developers uh, posted on the forums one time, and I'm trying to remember the exact statistic, but they said that less than 5% of the population, uh, you know, spends money on the game. So that means over 95% of the player base don't spend even a dime on Rift. So what happens? Tryon announces layoffs. I remember reading that they did some kind of layoff, and yeah they the model wasn't working this amazing free-to-play model that everybody you know treasured about rift it was causing the company to uh go through a bad spell people were losing their jobs over it so um they you know eventually they tried it for a long time you know how long was it that amazing free-to-play model before they made changes to like the earring slots and stuff you know a long time so they gave it a very very good chance they were uh, they were marketing it as the you know no tricks no traps you know you're not in uh you know uh azeroth anymore all those kind of advertisements and stuff and really was pushing this amazing free-to-play model but the thing is it didn't work out for Tryon because people are losing their jobs over it so uh, they ended up uh, trying to decide how they were going to pursue it. They went ahead and, um, you know, really tried to make it to where people were enticed to become patrons. So they made the patron benefits uh, even better, but then they took away stuff from the free-to-play players, though, which made it to where now being a free-to-play player wasn't really that great of an option anymore. Now, all of a sudden, you're going... I kind of need to be a patron in order to select the war fronts that I want to go into and stuff. Um, you know, to build up charges of, uh, you know, war front charges and dungeon charges and all that stuff. You know, you actually needed to be patron. You didn't have to be, but you, pr you pretty much needed to be in order to enjoy the game as much as you would like it to. Um, or would like to, should I say. Um, then they uh, did the earring slots. Now what they're kind of doing in this kind of stuff is they're saying, okay, whenever we gave you guys the option to buy things, you didn't buy. You know, hardly anybody was buying. You were thinking that the game was free to play. I'll never spend a dime on it. And over 95% of the population did that. All right, so now they're saying, okay, we're, we're kind of going to force your hand. We're not going to, uh, you know, say you have to do it, but we're going to make it to where you're really, really going to want to do it or else you're just not going to be able to compete on, like, the highest levels and stuff. I mean, you're just going to have to spend money on the game. And that sounds terrible, you know, whenever you're thinking of the amazing free-to-play model that Rift had. But if you go over into almost any other game, they're there's always some trick or trap that's making you pay for the game. Uh, I, I recently ran into that because while I was kind of disgruntled with Nightmare Tide, I wasn't going to leave Rift, but I was going to try other games. I was going to play a lot of different ones. I was going to play uh, Black Desert Online. I was going to play even stuff like RuneScape and everything. I was going to try them all. Well, guess what? They all require you to pay something at some point. There may be like really good free-to-play games like,
like uh, people tell me that Wildstar is like a great free to play. People uh, talk about Guild Wars, but you gotta buy the game in order to even play it. So, you know, there's always like these uh, enticements to spend money. And Rift was kind of going in that direction. They were going, everybody else is doing it. We kind of need to do it too because we got to make money. We got to be able to keep these people employed in order for them to keep working on the game. And uh, of course, there's investments and stuff. You know, investors, these guys aren't going to want to not make money at all or you know come to the point where they're having to lay off people from the company that they're invested in that's a very bad thing so all of a sudden they uh go with the earring slots as well and all that stuff and the player outcry was so crazy they were just so upset and crying foul the entire time and that made to where tryon was like okay well obviously the players are upset with the earring slots they're upset with all these things that we're doing. Maybe we just need to make it to where you're just going to have to buy the game. You know, you're you're just going to have to buy the expansion and all that. So they switched to the buy to play model and for some reason the backlash isn't nearly what it is in, whenever the earring slots were uh, behind the paywall. Why is that? That is so crazy to me. Like uh, with World of Warcraft, they require you to pay a subscription. They require you to buy all these expansions. And they're not even expansions that you can live without. You've got to have these expansions. And they're like milking so much money out of the players, but they wasn't getting nearly the, the backlash as Rift saying, we're just gonna make you guys pay for our ear earring slots. And you know, it was just crazy. It was absolutely crazy to me. And, jeez, I need to silence this phone. Sorry about this, guys. Um, but now they're going with the whole buy-to-play model and seeing how that works out. But keep in mind, Rift is still going through its identity crisis right now. They don't know exactly what works perfectly. They don't know what the exact market is. They're trying to guess it, but... So far, they've kind of failed. You know, they're they're adjusting the entire time, but it's it's like a social experiment. And the bad thing is, is it ticks off players along the way. Um, but how can you fault the company for trying to make things better? You know, they they with um, requiring people to buy like the earring slots and the patron and all that stuff. All of a sudden, they've been able to hire new developers. The people working on the uh, multi-core technology, the 64-bit technology, that's all new developers that's working on that stuff for the most part. These are new programmers coming in and doing this. So, yeah, now the company is growing. Uh, you know, I guarantee it's not more than 95% of the player base that hasn't spent a dime anymore. I bet, you know, the numbers are much better to where the company is actually making money, able to employ more people to make the game even better and, you know, do all these performance enhancements, come out with this new expansion, all these good things that's coming to Rift. So, yeah, lots of good things coming there. Uh, kind of a roller coaster ride with Trium because they're not really too sure exactly what the identity of Rift is. But you got to give them credit for trying to figure it out and trying to make it best. And they listened to the feedback of the players to where they were saying, we're ticked off about the earrings and all that. But the bad thing is, is they go, we still got to make money, so buy to play expansion now. Now everybody's going to have to pay for everything. So, but that's just the way it is. That's how the gaming market is. Uh, the whole uh, free-to-play gaming market isn't quite the same as it used to be. Um, so, yeah, things are going to be shifting all the time. We'll see how it pans out. All right, so other things that we're wanting to do, uh, well, I'm wanting to do, should I say, is that I'm wanting to do uh, more content on the channel, especially with the expansion. So if you guys like want to, uh, like I would like to do a Dimension video every week, uh, maybe other types of videos, maybe like a, a guide on the weekends again, um, just all kinds of different things I'd like to do for Rift. But I also want to do content on other games as well to not 
not just limit myself to only rift um, but we'll see how that pans out as well uh, if you guys got a dimension that you would like to show off or something you know send me a message on YouTube or on Twitter or some of the Twitter is probably the best to communicate with me on and uh, I'll see you guys' uh, dimension recommendation and I'll go check it out and maybe make a video on it it should be pretty cool if you guys uh, have some cool dimensions for me to see um, do a dimension showcase every week wouldn't that be cool um, let's see, we'll, we'll do lots of different things. Um, as far as like real life stuff, now I'm going through the process of buying a house right now in another town. Um, me and the family are going to be moving into this new house. The thing is, is the current house that I'm in right now is going to be empty for the most part. Now I thought about selling it and stuff like that and I may end up selling it, but I don't have to. So if it doesn't sell like real easily or anything like that, I may use this just as a studio and really try to perfect it. So uh, this room that I'm in right now, there isn't going to have to be anything else in here. I can basically move the, I can even move the studio into the living room and have a huge area where I'll be able to do like maybe even skits and stuff. That would be pretty cool. Um, lots of different things that I can do but basically this whole house is going to be at my disposal for my work so that would be very very cool the thing is is it's going to be like a 30 minute drive from my house so it's not going to be something that I'm going to come here and work every single day or something uh, but hopefully I'll be able to come here and put in some long hours and do quite a bit of videos for you guys we'll see I hope you guys uh, are liking this kind of update video. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too long. What is it, 16 minutes now? Not nearly as bad as some of my other videos I've done, but I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Like I said, I have lots of stuff planned. Uh, I'm not real sure how much of it is going to come to fruition or uh, that I'll have time in order to do, but yeah, I'm wanting to do a lot of riff content, that's for sure. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.